Good evening, everybody. This is Sam coming at you from my shop. Um, I just finished a new Catch and Cook video. It's to be the second one I've tried. Um, and in this video, we featured a fish ninui and we um, we cook it a fajita style. So it's something we've cooked up for a while. It's a, it's a recipe that we've done for a lot here just to kind of break the monotony and mix it up. The gun I'm shooting in this video is the Kau Kau Stick. It's a European inspired gun. It has this cuttlefish shape, which I really, really like. It looks really nice and it works well. Um, it has these really deep rubber tracks. It's a piece, it, it's actually a three piece laminate. The gun is laminated with three pieces of sapele to give it dimensional stability. Um, so it doesn't warp. Um, it uses two 5 8 rubbers and a 9 30 second shaft. Um, I use Neptonics triggers within the gun. Uh, I really like the Neptonics reverse mechanism. It works real well. Um, and it, uh, it, this this particular trigger right here has been, probably been in f like five of my guns that I've built before. This thing is old. Um, I bought this from Josh like years ago and I just keep building new guns and keep sticking it in them. This gun, this trigger is old. I can, I can attest that these things last. Um, it has a machined out handle, Meandro Surreal. Um, Enjoy the catch and cook. I hope you get a good laugh out of it and possibly a new simple recipe, especially for you young boys out there who are about to uh, head in onto the adventure of fishing and diving and all that stuff. Um, this is one you should keep because it's simple and it's good. Uh, enjoy the show. See you later. So we had a great dive today. Alon got an umilu. He got a nice little hole hole. Austin shot a kala. We shot some palani. And then we come over to our other fishes. Yeah, we got this guy. I don't even know what it's called. But this is the focus. This is the focus. In Inui. So today, we're going to make some burritos with this guy. We're going to make some fajitas with this Inui. So I've cleaned it. And the trick to this guy... Okay, so here's what you need, okay? You're gonna need an onion or something that gives you that kind of flavor. It's the first thing. One onion is good. Two bell peppers, doesn't matter what color. My wife, she happened to buy orange and red, that'll work. You need your fish. So here's what we got. I got, I don't know how much it is. It looks like about the right amount, but some papillo that my son, my son shot the other day, skin on. Ninui, uh, skin, partially skinned, I guess. A 14 year old skin. And then uh, I got some small Inui fillets and I got the collars from the papillo. I'm gonna fry those collars up first so the bones fall out and then uh, shred that. Okay. And finally, this is the last secret ingredient. This is a critical one. So 
If you're doing this, this is a critical secret ingredient right here. Ready? Right here, you see? This is where the secrets lie. And if, if you read the fine print back here, it's what it says. You will need, you see that part? You will need, and it says, you need McCormick seasoning, two tablespoons of oil divided. I don't know why you divide it, we never divide it. Um, one boneless, skinless chicken breast, boneless beef sirloin, or an Inuit filet cut into half inch strips. You see? You see? You didn't know. Nobody reads this, but you gotta read it. It has it right there. An Inuit filet. That's the one. It's gonna work. And then onion and all the other stuff. So I'm thinking like a. a In there. So here we go. You're gonna take your bell peppers. I'm gonna cut mine this way. Probably another critical culinary mistake, but this is the way I'm doing it. So we're gonna cut up our bell peppers. Um, and this is straight up, you know, this is grinds right here. Like if you're out there camping with your boys and you guys need like something to cook you don't need to go kt and spend 900 dollars on food man pound some nanuis go crack some nanuis you hit up some nanuis you buy you go buy fajita mix and whatever but you can eat any any kind of fish you can eat like this well ours is gonna have papio and nanui but you could put so here's the next step we're gonna cut up our fish so you can see what we got here i got two nanui fillets the milo collars i got and two chunks of leftover non sashimi. fajita packet I mean we're gonna get all of our little pocket chunks in the pan Ooh. all right so I got my I got my onions you can see that I got my bell peppers kind of broken out in this pan and then I got my secret sauce very good very good stuff you're really gonna like it you're gonna like this all right minute number two of frying look at this you can see your fish is cooking. So if I had bigger chunks, or if I had a bone or two, I could take them out, these colors. You can see that they're gonna continue to break down and we can just work our way around that bone. No sense throw away the collar. Um, if you got bigger chunks, we're gonna add our onion and our bell pepper and a little bit of water. So this is gonna be, this is actually gonna, I'm adding it, no, not here. I'm gonna add all this in. I'm gonna get these broken down. You can see, once again, there's a whole lot of stuff in here besides, like the Kala Burger, there's a whole lot of stuff in here besides the fish. So all these vegetables are going to break down. We're going to get them steamed up. And uh, we're going to eat some fajita. We're going to eat some rats. It's going to be good. I'm telling you, Ninui, one of those poke. And poke this is the alternate Ninui poke recipe right here. If you're tired of eating Ninui poke, Ninui fajita. Super good. Super, super good. Okay, and so I added some water, and this is critical. If you see right here, you gotta look down. So, this is what we wanna see. You see that? Zoom in real close to that. That's it. You know, the water is gonna steam down these vegetables. Get your, look at this collar. This collar is falling apart, mixing into the fajitas. We can pick out the big bones later. All right, so if you look at these collars, See, this is why it's good to throw the collar in. You see what's left? Right there, once we clean out that collar, that's all that's left. No sense you throw with a collar, look. Any bone, that's such big bones. It's not like pin bones or anything. And here we go. So the next thing, this step is really important. You gotta shake, this. I'll show you guys how to do this right. See that? It's important, you don't wanna waste. I'm gonna get all the sauce down there. It's this technical stuff. They teach you this, I think, in like cooking school. You rip it there and you open it like that. Yeah. 
Yes. And you gotta shake nice, you know. You cannot just put it all over. Shake it nice like that. That's important. Spread it all out. I don't know if we need one or two packets, but we're gonna test it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I can smell it. It reminds me of Kaaha. The smell reminds me of the first time I made this down in the national park. Fish kept eating me away. Final stage, we got, this is super important. I know, cheese and fish. I know, I know, what a combo. What a combo, like it's a match made in heaven. So you're gonna take a little bit of your sour cream. You know, we could be fancy, but we're not. We're not, we don't claim to have any uh, entitlements here. You're gonna take a little bit of this. And you're gonna stick it on there. I'm telling you, this is the, this is a winner. I've eaten this a lot, too close. So right about like that. So there you go. Here the, we, so we're gonna take some of this and we are gonna put it on there. I'm gonna take a little bit of cheese. So I'm gonna take your cheese, stick it on there. Oh man, fish fajita. Take a little lettuce. Wrap this sucker up. The hot sauce. You know? Oh man, get it on there. And then we're gonna do the taste test. And then we're gonna do our taste test. So we're gonna wrap this up. This is the moment when you watch my mouth. Take that. Mm. It's freaking good. It's super good. I'm always laughing like I'm some dumbass or something. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, this is it. Nenui, Nenui has reached a new level. Yeah? Not just poke. And not just poke with skin. The, the old school guys eat Nenui with poke with skin. But this is Nenui in a different way. It's <laughs> super good. Mmm. Oh. I cried a little. Well, because I got the hot sauce in my eye. But this thing is good. Eat Nenui's. Save some other fish for junk fishermen like us. Leave a couple good fish for me. Shoot a Nenui instead. But uh, with that said, I'm out. Now, the last thing, my wife had to hear this. Anything you see in here, there's my way, your way, and the right way. And we're always somewhere in between. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, you're not a believer. I'm bringing home a special slab of ahi. Like, okay, fire, whatever, oh no, okay. But bro, look at this. Look at this right here. Oh my God. We're gonna eat the ono too, though. <laughs> the ono looks good. All right, let's go.